Now that we're a bit more comfortable with the Premiere Pro environment, let's drop back to the beginning and spend this chapter talking all about how we ingest and organize our media. Then in the next chapter, we'll start in on all things editing. So we're going to be going into our main Ovens of Capoquin project later in this chapter so we can take advantage of our well-organized assets. But to begin with, I just want to start with a blank slate, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new project. And I'm just going to call this Bakery Demo 2, okay? And I want that to go inside of my Exercise Files folder, inside the Project folder. Again, that is just an Exercise Files project, and I'll let it live right in there. Okay, and we'll say OK. And here I am. Here's my Bakery Demo 2 project. And in Chapter 2, when I was giving you the basic tour, we brought media in in a very straightforward manner by just double-clicking in the project panel and then bringing up a browser and then bringing our media in that way. This time, however, I want to show you how to use the media browser, which can give you a little more flexibility. So the media browser is typically uh, within the project panel window. It's over here. If it isn't, you can come up to Window and then just make sure there's a check mark next to Media Browser, okay? And I'm going to just select my media browser and then press tilde so that it maximizes full screen. Now over here on the left is a side panel and this lets me navigate to my media. So I'm gonna go into Mac hard drive in this case and then I'm going to twirl down, go into Users. And then I need to find my desktop, which is where my media is. So I'm just going to keep twirling down until I find desktop. Now, you don't want to do this every time. So wherever your media is, I recommend setting it up as a favorite. So I'm just going to right-click on desktop and add to favorites. And now I have a desktop under favorites up here. Okay, so I'm going to go into exercise files. And then here's my media. I'll double-click here. And here's the additional folders inside of my media folder. And the cool thing about the media browser, unlike just using the traditional import, is that I can actually see each of my files as little movies. So let me keep going in. I'm going to go into B-roll and then Farmer's Market. And this should look pretty familiar. This looks just like a bin, and I have the same capabilities. Notice that I can hover scrub over my clips. All right. I can play them. I'll press spacebar. Uh, right now, I am looking at things in icon view. There is also list view for the media browser. I'll go to list view and here I can sort. OK, I can also add uh, columns of information. I would just right click on my column here and choose edit columns and I can add any other piece of metadata within this list. So say, for example, I'd like to take a look at uh, the data size of each of these clips. I'll just check that and OK. And now I can get a sense of how large these files are. And whether I'm in list view or icon view, I do have this text field. So if I want to bring up the clips with Esther in them, I can just type in Esther and you can see that it live filters. All right, if I switch back over to icon view, I still have my filtered clips. Another way to use a filter is by using this filter up here and you can display just certain formats of media. So for example, if I climbed into my images folder here and I filter on JPEG, you can see that it filters out anything that's not a JPEG. I'll go back to all supported files. All right, I'm going to go back into my farmer's market B-roll. And let's talk about how to actually bring these into my project. Uh, you can select one clip. I can shift select multiple clips. I can command or control select uh, non-adjacent clips. Uh, or I can select them all. I'll just press command A or control A on a PC. And then I just right click and choose import. And now if I go back over to my project panel, you can see that all of these files imported into my project. Just as with the traditional import, the process I just completed does not create new media. All of these files that I now have inside of Premiere are merely pointing to the media that already exists on my drive. Uh, let me show you this. I'm just going to select one of these and then I'll right click and choose reveal in Finder. And you can see that it takes me directly to that file within my exercise files folder. All right, so I'm going to clean things up just a bit and just delete these clips from within Premiere. I'm just going to select the first one and then press Command A or Control A on a PC to select them all and then press delete. OK, so this sets us up for the rest of the chapter where we need a blank project. 
All right, so a lot of flexibility with the media browser. It allows me to really dig in and see my clips at a level that I can't with a traditional import.